Let your telescope take you on a tour of the cosmos with the Nexstar SLT or Star Locating Telescope. Every telescope in this popular family features the same locating technology on our high-end observatory telescope priced to fit your budget. Designed with beginning and intermediate amateur astronomer in mind, Nexstar SLT is easy to set up and use. Assembling the telescope takes just a few minutes. Then, the computerized Nexstar Plus hand control guides you through our sky align procedure. Center any three bright objects and the telescope is aligned and ready to locate any star, planet, or galaxy in its 40,000 object database. If you aren't sure what to observe, check out the Sky Tour. It automatically generates a list of the best objects currently visible based on your exact time and location. This SLT family features a variety of optical tube sizes and styles. There's a 102 mm refractor, 90 mm, and 127 mm Maxutov Cassegrain models, and the 130 mm Newtonian reflector with maximum light gathering ability. All four models provide the bright, sharp images you'd expect from Celestron, the world's number one telescope maker. Your Nexstar SLT includes everything you need to get started with amateur astronomy, including a tripod, a finder scope, and two eyepieces. When you're out under the stars, use Celestron's free Sky Portal mobile app for iOS and Android to locate objects in the night sky. As you observe, listen to Sky Portal's audio descriptions for the most popular objects. Happy start. For over 20 years, Meade's ETX series telescopes have provided novice astronomers quality, value, and performance, with each new model bringing enhancements and improvements. The all-new ETX Observer series continues that legacy. The ETX Observer models come in an 80mm refractor, a 90mm Maxutov Cassegrain, or 125mm Maxutov Cassegrain design. These telescopes now feature the AudioStar handbox controller which gives you easy access to a 30,000 object database and includes a built-in speaker that plays educational content about the celestial objects you view. Just follow the easy to understand LED readout and the onboard computer will point and track any planet, galaxy, or nebula. Find and observe deep sky objects in minutes. The 80mm and 90mm feature a removable optical tube that brings versatility and customization to the ETX. The ETX-80 comes equipped with a backpack and tripod, making it great for people on the go, while the ETX-90 comes with a hardy carry case, a rigid tripod, and a tripod bag to protect when transporting. The ETX-125 features a large 127mm aperture that marries the portability of the ETX with Meade's premium optics. Enjoy detailed close-up views of the moon and planets, and be amazed by the stunning views of star clusters, nebula, and more. Whether you are hiking, camping, or in the backyard, the ETX observers are made for observing anytime, anywhere. With go-to and tracking capabilities, these are the ultimate portable computerized telescopes. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up and align your ETX observer telescope. You'll find that this telescope system has all you need to explore the universe. Mead's concept was to create a telescope that would be simple enough for anyone to use yet capable enough for the experienced amateur to stretch their knowledge and skills. First, let's go over what accessories are included with the ETX Observer and what sizes are available. The ETX comes in three different apertures, an 80mm refractor and a 90mm and 125mm Maxutov Cassegrain. The ETX Observer series comes with a sturdy tripod, an OTA in mount, and AudioStar handbox. These telescopes also come with accessories including two 1.25 inch eyepieces, a red dot viewfinder, and a bubble level compass. In addition to these accessories, the ETX 80mm includes a 45 degree roof prism, a removable dew shield, and a backpack to carry all of your stuff in. While the ETX 90 includes a hard carry case for the mount, optical tube and accessories, and a tripod bag. Please note that the ETX 80 differs from the 90 and 125 in a few ways. As a result, there are subtle differences when setting up the tripods and installing the telescope mount. Follow the steps noting when there are differences between the two telescope models and proceed accordingly. 
you want to set the telescope up in a large open area where you can see lots of sky. Make sure the ground is stable and is approximately level. Stand the tripod vertically with the tripod feet down and grasp two of the tripod legs and gently pull the legs apart to a fully open position. ETX80 users may need to loosen the black lock knob located on the center shaft of the tripod. Rotate counterclockwise to loosen if needed. Loosen the leg lock on each leg and extend each leg segment until the top of the tripod is level and at the desired height. Relock the leg lock latches to secure each leg segment. ETX80 users will need to tighten the center column lock knob by rotating it clockwise until firm. For ETX90 and 125 users, tighten the locks to a firm fill only. Do not over tighten. Remove the end nut from the spreader shaft and slide the spreader in between the telescope legs. Attach the end nut and hand tighten until the telescope legs are held snugly in the most spread position. Position the tripod where you want the telescope to be and check that the top of the tripod is approximately level. Use the included bubble level compass to level the tripod head. For the ETX80, line up the bolts over the key-like holes on the top of the tripod and slide the bolts into the holes. Rotate the telescope counterclockwise until the bolts fit into the hole base. Then, reach under the tripod base and tighten the bolts to a firm feel. On the ETX90 and 125 tripod, loosen the latitude control knob and lift up the tilt plate so that you can easily access the underside of the plate. Relock the latitude control knob so the assembly doesn't slip while you're attaching the telescope. Line up the ETX90 or 125 with the mounting holes on the base of the telescope with the tripod attachment knobs. Thread both attachment knobs into the base of the telescope and tighten to a firm fill only. Unlock the latitude control knobs and lower the tilt plate until it is level. Then lock the latitude control knob. Next, tighten the vertical and horizontal locks to a firm fill only. Do not over tighten. These locks engage the telescope motors so the ETX can be moved using the AudioStar hand controller. With the Telescope Master power switch in the off position, plug one end into the HBX port of the control panel and plug the other end into the handbox port on the AudioStar handbox. Place the 26mm eyepiece into the eyepiece holder on the telescope and tighten the attachment thumbscrew to a firm feel only. Slide the red dot viewfinder into the slotted holder on the top surface of the telescope and tighten the attachment thumbscrew to a firm feel only. To power your telescope, lift the battery cover located in between the mount fork arms. Gently remove the battery holder from the compartment so you don't accidentally pull out the wires attached to the holder. Insert six user-supplied AA batteries into the holder. Your telescope is now fully assembled and ready to be aligned. To Whether you are hiking, camping, or in the backyard, the ETX Observer models are made for observing anytime, anywhere. With go-to and tracking capabilities, these are the ultimate portable computerized telescopes.